Listen to it without watching her face, and then switch back up and watch her face. See if what you hear and you perceive is the same or different when you look away versus when you look at her mouth. Okay, here we go. Baba. 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 Now look back at her mouth. Baba. 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 You're not sure, look away again. Baba. 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 What she's saying with her mouth movements is actually gaga. So she's making the mouth movements for gaga, but the audio track I'm playing the whole time is the audio for baba. So for 70% of you, when you look at her, you think you hear gaga or dada or something else, but you do not think you hear baba because your eyes see that her lips never touch. And her mouth can't say baba if her lips don't touch. When you look away and you're getting acoustic only input, you perceive baba because that's actually what the ear is hearing the whole time anyway. But what this shows us is when you have a stronger phonological system and it is multisensory based, your visual will override your acoustic every time. What you see the mouth doing will, come, will definitely override what the ear thinks it's hearing. Ready to begin your dyslexia success story? Our evidence-based methods can help. Visit our websites and contact us today. Links in bio.